Today I'm going to tell you how I planted a lemon tree two years ago, how it looks now and what I'm going to do in order to make the tree produce fruit. Before we start I want to do some introduction in which I tell you some information about this plant, care for it, why and how I planted the tree. The origin of the lemon is unknown. A genomic study of the lemon indicated it was a hybrid between bitter orange and citron. Most of citruses people grow nowadays are hybrids between wild species of citruses. That means that you can't actually grow from seed a lemon tree which will produce lemon fruits. The only way is to root a branch of a lemon tree or graft a plant grown from seed with this branch. The plant I grow can only produce either citrons or bitter oranges, which in my opinion are worse than divine lemons. I'm going to graft my plant in future videos, but at first I want to grow a big and healthy tree and only then graft it with several lemons varieties. How did I come to this idea to plant a lemon? I just wanted to plant some exotic fruit from seed when I was a child, but I didn't manage to do this every time I tried. And in 2018, when I was 17 years old, I finished my school and I was bored, so I decided to have another try, and I bought a couple of lemons at the local market. I took seeds from them and started sowing them. Sorry I don't have footage of the process, but I followed instructions from these videos. It's not advertisement, I just want to mention these guys. The guy from the Tech Plant channel proved in his videos about lemons that there is no difference between propagation peeled and unpeeled seeds. I wish I knew that when I planted my tree. There were two tries when I propagated seeds. First time I was afraid that if I take them out of the plastic bag and look on them, the seeds would lose moisture and would not sprout. Eventually they rotted. And the next time I look after seeds closely to see if they are not started to rot. After you planted seeds you have to build a small greenhouse. I made it from small transparent plastic bag. And here is another thing you should avoid. I planted two seeds in one pot, and when they would grow to some point I would separate them. They sprouted with different speed. I had to keep plastic pack in the pots with young plants and remove it from the pots with older ones. As old and young plants were mixed, I decided to keep the bags on every pot. Eventually old and tall plants died, because they needed less moisture and heat than young plants. In addition, some plants touched walls of the greenhouse and were permanently wet. Don't let your plants grow in such conditions. Provide good airing and try to make large greenhouse or grow every plant in separate pot to make individual environment. Here you can see my lemons when they sprouted. As you can see, I experimented with handmade pots made of plastic bottles. I think I should try such pots again. I had a lot of lemon trees, but only two survived. I was going to grow the oldest of them as a bonsai and let the youngest grow as an ordinary lemon. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to make a real bonsai as I don't have proper skills, but the second lemon tree started to grow perfectly. I have no doubt that it would be a beautiful compact indoor plant with amazing fruit. I planted both plants in pots with 15 cm diameter. Almost a year later, I pruned some branches and roots. I let the young lemon grow tall and the old one to grow small and compact as a bonsai. Here are the photos. Sorry for the quality. I just made these photos to send them via telegram to show my girlfriend what I was doing. As you can see, the tall lemon suffered from my cat, who tried to eat it. My cat trying to eat my plants. Again. This plant looks like a real tree, doesn't it? Just look at those roots. I think it's the last brutal pruning. I'm going to concentrate my and your attention on the tall tree as old one looks dying. And for me this poor plant is only a waste of space, which I can use for my succulents. I use peat and pellite for the soil mix. I lay liquid drainage on the bottom of the pot. I want to add some fresh soil, but I advise you change it completely, since soil change prevents soil parasites appearing. Also fresh soil has more nutrients and minerals for a plant. The next step will be root and branch pruning. Then I plant the lemon in the same pot with the same soil, but adding some peat and pellite. I select old leaker drainage from the soil. This time I am going to use a divider between soil and drainage. It will be sphagnum moss, 
doesn't rot and it employed as a mesh that they can buy suitable mesh for this purpose. Also sphagnum moss holds some moisture, which is good because I water my plants not very often. Most of them are succulents after all. I put liquor on the bottom. You can use different materials. Watch this video. It helped me a lot. Then I use sphagnum moss as a mesh. This idea I took from this channel also. I use it even with succulents, cacti and with plants in pots without drainage hole. Let's deal with the roots. All we need to do is to cut all long roots and make sure that all remaining roots are almost the same length. I do this to encourage new roots to grow, and when new roots will grow, stem will become much fatter, which is good, while stem of short tree contains water and nutrients for cropping. I learned how to form nice radial root system from Nigel Sanders' videos. I saw on his channel him pruning a lemon bonsai grown from seed. Probably that's why I decided to grow my own. I grow my lemon tree in temperate climate, on east facing window sill. I water it once or two per week, and sometimes spray its leaves. For watering I use the chlorinated water in which I add some natural acids, such as vinegar, just few drops per liter. One of the reasons why I started my channel is that majority of people on the internet show on their channels how to grow lemons, succulents, carnivorous plants, etc. in other climate zones. So I had to watch the video and do everything other way around. Most videos about growing lemons are made in India, or on the south of the USA. The lemon originates from India and easily grown in California, but will it grow on windowsill in the Eastern Europe and produce fruit? And that's the main idea of my videos. Next year I will record a short video where I'm going to plant this tree in large pot or plastic bucket and trim it again a bit. And in a year after the next year I'm going to graft it, and on the fifth year of life the lemon should produce fruit. When all roots are cut, I do the same with the branches. This time I will cut a bit, just a few tips. It also helps tree to be wider and bushier. At last, I can wash all the dust from my plant. I just washed it from a tap. I put the plant in the pot and fill it with soil. I should be careful with watering, as roots still have wounds after cutting, and they can easily rot, so the first watering will be commenced in several days, around 2 or 3. Next month I decided to fertilize it with manual fertilizer. Here you can see photos of the second plant. I did all the same, but I didn't capture, I took only photos. And here are my plants sometime later. The tall one is doing great. A lot of new branches started to grow. The roots can be seen through the drainage holes. The diameter of the stem seems to be a bit wider.
Alas, the small one is still dying. I should have changed the soil, as it was covered with mold past winter. Some fun guy still grows on the roots and kills the plant. Thank you for your attention. I will be glad to see you again on my channel. Bye.